Hi guy, Mr. Newmobile here. Apple Watch 6 release date and price. Six versions of Apple Watch to date, but that won't stop the next Apple Watch from being called the Series 6. The company simply called the original watch Apple Watch, presumably because Apple was unsure of the longevity of what was new technology back in 2015. Fast forward five years, and it has proven to be one of the most popular products in the Apple range ever, completely reimagining what we can do with our watches. A whole industry of capable smartwatches has emerged around it, but Apple still remains top dog for design and performance among many consumers. With that in mind, and a relatively minor Series 5 update, we have high hopes for the Apple Watch Series 6. Here's everything we know so far, from release date whispers to key feature rumors. While the iPad and MacBook have more erratic update cycles, the Apple Watch and iPhone remain reassuringly predictable however, the knock-on effects of the coronavirus pandemic may delay the reveal this year. That came from Apple itself, something that rarely happens during its Q3 2020 earnings call. Well, available a few weeks later than the 2019 model was. Separately, no leaker, John Prosser tweeted revised pre-order and launch dates for a number of Apple's 2020 product lineup, including the next watch and iPads. Whatever happens, we'll more than likely see the Apple Watch Series 6 launch this autumn. Despite prices creeping up in recent years, we'd expect the Apple Watch Series 6 to be priced similarly to its predecessor. The Apple Watch Series 5 starts at £399 and $399 for the aluminium version, while the stainless steel variant will cost at least £699 and $699. These are the main two materials aimed at everyday consumers. Higher-end titanium and ceramic designs can push the price as high as £1,399 and $1,399, though, particularly if you add cellular connectivity. We're not expecting any massive Apple Watch redesigns coming soon, but there could be some subtle tweaks to enhance the user experience. The latest leak is that Apple could build additional functionality into the digits, but has remained largely unchanged in recent generations. However, that could be all about to change with the Series 6, as Apple has applied for a patent which would allow you to use light sensors on the crown to control your watch. The official document linked above goes into detail on how this might work, but it could mean using swipe gestures around the edges of the watch to navigate the user interface. We're not sure whether this would mean losing the digital crown altogether, or whether this would simply be an alternative to the rotation of the crown we have now. It's important that many patented ideas never make their way into the final product, but it's the most concrete information we have so far. The easiest upgrades to predict on the Apple Watch Series 6 are improved internals. It's almost certain that Apple will have a new S6 processor ready, which could see enhancements to the already excellent performance. This could be aided by a potential move to liquid crystal polymer circuit boards for the first time. Elsewhere, we could also see some pretty big improvements to the water resistance. The latest Apple Watch has an official ISO rating, which means it is already able to withstand water depths of up to 50 Apple Watch. Simply put, yes. Apple confirmed the sleep tracking functionality will be available in Watch 07 at WWDC 2020, with the update scheduled for release this autumn, so it'll be available to both new and existing. Many people take their Apple Watch off to charge overnight, so this could suggest the next Apple Watch will be tailored to sleep tracking, possibly resulting in some significant improvements to battery life. This could be achieved by Apple moving to a microLED display, as reported by Chinese site Economic Daily News. The current OLED panels have led to more significant battery drain than had been anticipated. Some think that microLED is still some time away from being introduced to the Apple Watch, which would explain the appearance of a slightly larger battery. A regulatory board that approves new hardware ahead of public release. It's admittedly not a lot bigger at 303.8 mAh compared to 296 mAh of the current Apple Watch, it could offer a small improvement to battery life. Of course, another reason for increased battery capacity is to power new technology, seems to believe that the new Apple Watch will sport blood oxygen level monitoring. It's not the first wearable to offer the tech, but Apple's option will likely be more user-friendly and could use it to enhance the sleep tracking introduced in Watch 07, too. The claim was backed up by code found in internal builds of iOS 14, so it seems pretty likely at this point. Despite being phased out of the latest iPhones, Touch ID could make its first appearance on an Apple Watch in 2020. Of course, due to the size of the device, it would have to be an under-display fingerprint scanner, although a November 2019 patent suggests it might be in the works. According to the report source, the option of unlocking the watch will be added with a fingerprint embedded on the crown of the watch, and continues to claim that Apple is working on an in-display fingerprint scanner for use on the Series 7, currently slated for release in 2021.
It's true that an Apple Watch remains unlocked when it detects a heartbeat, in any other situation you still need to enter a four-digit PIN. Adding Touch ID will make the process easier and more secure, and will also make online payments much more seamless. A patent, which was filed way back in 2018, details a system that scans the veins in your wrist to detect non-touch gestures. The patent details a device packed with sensors that will capture one or more images of the user's hand and use those images to figure out the position of the veins and thus the, pos the position of the hand. It's certainly a good idea there are all times where we can't touch our watch to interact, like when cooking or when wearing gloves in the winter, but as with all patents, it may never appear in an official product. Still, it gives us an idea of the avenues that Apple is pursuing in the development of its smartwatch line. Well that is just a little update I have for now. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.